The concertmaster role is one of the most vital roles in an orchestra. Not only do they serve as one of the musical leaders of their section, but the entire orchestra as a whole. Everyone is watching them. For Arch Manning, the road to a gridiron concertmaster started at a young age. He possessed the raw skills, but the question was, That's it. could he live up to the legacy of his name? Hundreds of people actually get to make it to be a concertmaster in an orchestra, so it's a really special, it takes a special individual to make it to that level. Arch quickly proved he's the future maestro of the Manning family. In 2017 at Isidore Newman, a quarterback prodigy was born as Arch conducted a virtuoso passing performance, leading his greenies to a middle school title. Fans at the game got their first glimpse, but for those close to Arch, they knew this day was coming. I've been training young kids for a long time and, and uh, kind of uh, all the way up, right? And so you, you see just hundreds of kids and so you kind of know and you, you see one that's maybe, you know, a little further ahead. Don't let the chest lean forward. I talked to Eli, me and Eli are close friends. So I never really told Eli how good I thought he was because I did, you know, I didn't want it to, to over exaggerate it, but the kid was really, really good. Flash forward to high school and Arch pulled off a feat neither of his superstar uncles could. Starting quarterback on opening day as a freshman. The young QB quickly thrived in that spotlight, sporting his legendary grandfather's name. I purposely didn't name Cooper Payton or Eli Archie just because I was, uh, you know, I was a quarterback here in town and I just didn't want him to deal with any, if there's any pressure there. So uh, I think there is a lot of pressure on, on Arch. Arch is a, good, he's a sweet kid, he's a humble kid, so he, he kind of deals with it. My daddy used to have a, a, a saying, he'd say, uh, take care of your business. And I think for a long time, I'm not sure I knew what that meant. I think it meant to behave and, uh, you know, do the right thing, make good decisions. But I'm kind of really proud of the way Arch is a lot thrown at him, the way he's taking care of his business. A month ago at Pearl River, Arch handled his business in record-breaking fashion, outshining his uncles once again, this time breaking Peyton's career touchdown passing record at Newman and Eli's career passing yards mark. Obviously I look up to them. They kind of paved the way for me, both Peyton and Eli, and uh, they congratulated me and it was, uh, it, it was all fun games and uh, I think they're proud of me. I was excited and I knew, uh, I kind of got word that it was gonna happen that week. Uh, Nelson Stewart, his, his, uh, his coach, he, he sent me a text just saying, you know, your, your, your nephew's gonna break uh, your record and Peyton's record. So if, yeah, if you're, if you're, you know, one of your records doesn't get broken, you'd rather be Ready. by your nephew. So maybe they just, you know, they can just put Manning up there. You don't really know who maybe has the records. Now it's time for the next step. In two months, Arch heads to the Lone Star State to suit up for the University of Texas. The horns have made their way out. But that decision to become a Longhorn wasn't easy. The highly sought after recruit was targeted by all the Blue Blood programs, including Georgia, Alabama, and Clemson. It was like he told me, he said, he calls me Red. He said, Red, you can't pick but one. I can't pick but one. And he, he did a good job. And boy, he, was for, he had some great options. He had some great choices there. And it, it sure wasn't easy, but I think he thought it out. It's his call. We certainly did not push this. This was his call. He's ready to get up there and um, figure out college. I think he doesn't know what he's getting into typically. And he's, we're trying to you know, get him a little bit prepared. Like, you're going to college, son. This is not just you know, lifting and running and throwing. You got, this is a real deal. <laughs> Uncles Eli and Peyton were both chosen number one overall in the NFL draft. So in the future, the questions will come. Can Arch make it a trio of number one picks for the Manning family? I think it's kind of dangerous to start comparing, you know, a, a senior in high school to anybody that's had a lot of success uh, later on. I do know that Arch loves football. I think he'll do the work, he'll study, he'll, he'll put in the time to, to do as best he can. So I'm not worried about him you know, missing practice or slacking off. He's, he's committed to the, to the craft and um, I'm excited for him to, uh, 
to you know, take it to the next level and see how he does. And, and we'll, be, we'll be there you know, every step of the way. So he's going to Texas. Hey, go, go, go earn the starting job and, and be the starting quarterback. Uh, go figure out how to win games. And you know, eventually Texas will be in the SEC. Go, go win an SEC championship. And so I think those are, those are the goals. If there's an opportunity to go play professionally, all that will work out. And, and I'll, I'll, I'll continue to root them on that journey as well. For Arch, college and pro football will have to wait. There's one goal left to achieve at Newman, win a state title. Yeah, I'm trying to stay in the moment and not think ahead. Um, I've really enjoyed my time here, and uh, I'm just soaking up every, every last bit of it.